Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eric Brown and welcome to the fourth episode of Cold Kombucha. All right, so today we are going to be experiencing this flavor. It's called Holiday Cheers. Now I'm on the Health Aid Kombucha website right now and what is it gonna read? This festive probiotic tea is a seasonal brew that perfectly blends notes of ginger, cloves, allspice, and chocolate. Trust us, it's the perfect way to spread the cheers. Boom, shakalaka. I don't know if you see that well. Hold on, zoom out a little bit. There we go. There we go. This festive probiotic tea is a seasonal brew. Okay, what does it say right here? Our once in a year special holiday cheers brew, per, brew perfectly blends notes of ginger, allspice, chocolate, and so much more. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eric Brown and today we're going to be experiencing the Health Aid Kombucha Holiday Cheers. All right, so this is a fresh, bottle when you open this bad boy up. We're gonna do a nice swirl, you know, just swirl it around. I think with these kinds of kombuchas, you don't really need to swirl it actually. I think it's very much, I think they take all the stuff out. I wanna know how they brew this differently than GTs. But we're gonna give it a little. Is I don't want it to explode. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Okay, so based off of what we saw, I got a little bit of B-roll action right there. So we're looking for some ginger, hold on. We're looking for some ginger, some cloves, allspice, and chocolate. Now I know what ginger and cloves taste like and I know what chocolate tastes like. What does allspice taste like? I'm pretty sure I've had it before, but let's look at color. So let's look at color right here. I'm gonna have to do a lot of zooming in. So looking at color right here, um, I would say it's more of a I don't know, yellowish, it's like a yellowish color, which I'm thinking is maybe the cloves or the allspice. I was thinking of having a little bit more brown here because of the chocolate smell. You can definitely smell the cloves in here. Um, I smell a little bit of ginger. All right, let's give it a whirl. I'm not really tasting it. I'm not tasting any chocolate, honestly. I'm not tasting any chocolate. I'm tasting ginger, a little bit of clove. I don't know what I'm looking for for the allspice, but that's about it. Tastes like a bland ginger soda. That's really what it is, just a bland ginger soda. 
I'm quite disappointed, honestly. I might not do the slurpy thing, because once I do the slurpy thing, it foams up a lot. Like when you do this, and it foams up right there. That's what happens in my mouth when you, right? When you do that, it foams up and it, so I might not do that. I might just swish it. Yeah, ginger is there. No, I'm tasting it more, I'm tasting more ginger. It's got that little tickle in your throat, you know what I mean? When you, when you eat or drink something that's ginger, you can feel it. I taste a little bit of clove, but I mostly taste a bland ginger soda. Um, so V factor, vinegar factor, very low. Very, very low. I think that's one of the things that Health Aid is probably really good with is having that low vinegar factor. Maybe in the first fermentation process, they don't do a whole lot. Maybe in the second fermentation, they do more brewing in there, but I'm not really tasting anything. Um, what else are we looking for? Yep, that V factor. Flavors and notes, fizziness, fizzy level. Standard. Um, I think because I swish it around a lot, it's pretty low in here. I'm gonna drink it straight from the bottle and see if there's a difference. So, I will say something that there is definitely more fizz inside the bottle than from a glass. So V factor from something like a water, which is being zero, to something a pie, which is probably something more along the lines of like a Coke from uh, McDonald's, because that's the best place to actually get a Coke is from a McDonald's. For me saying that, I used to work at McDonald's for a bit, so, and I'm sure if you've tasted McDonald's before in life, you probably understand, but um, on a scale of one to 10, I would say it's pretty in the middle. I'd give it like a five to six. Nothing really in your face, it's just light dancing on your tongue. And um, overall, what would I give this kombucha? You know, for being a holiday flavor, it's definitely got that appeal. So I would buy it because I see it's a kombucha. Well, one, it's kombucha, so I'll buy it. Number two, it's a special holiday flavor. So I remember. <sighs> Kombucha makes you burp. That's something you should know. Um, I remember I tasted the fall edition of GT's, their fall special flavor, and you could really taste that apple, you could really taste that ginger and turmeric. It's very loud. And something like this flavor, not very loud. So I, if this was any regular kombucha, I would tell you to not buy it. Don't even bother. But because it's a holiday flavor, I will tell you buy at least one bottle, taste it one time, and that's it. I wouldn't buy any more. I actually have this one and another bottle. I accidentally bought two. So, from uh, three being okay, four being gr good, five being great, two being a I didn't like it, number one being I hated it, I give it about a 2.5 stars out of five. Oops. And then if it, was, if, it was a, if it was a regular old kombucha, I'd give it a one out of five. It's not that great. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our holiday special. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like, you know what to do with all that good stuff. And in the fifth episode, we're gonna have more of a holiday special, except I'm gonna tell you a bit about eggnog, yes. So this show isn't just gonna be kombucha. You know, I really wanna branch out to things like eggnog, or and we'll see where it goes, but 
I want to do more than just kombucha, but I know that there's so much that's going to be involved with kombucha. It's going to be the main priority for at least a good year, maybe two years, and then we might branch out to do some other taste reviews. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.